Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody and today we're doing the long-awaited near close flex scheme it's really good it's it is really good especially with the ability to audible around uh, to formations like strong close and I from slot if you want to run the ball really powerful so we're getting into the audibles I from slot it has some decent passes this sail wise shake and this post wheel is fine I wouldn't run I wouldn't run them that often though. I would auto put stretch alert and have back dive alert in my audibles just so I have a run that I can go to that is popping. Besides just the full back dive auto, auto near flex close. Now the next formation that I wanna set an audible for is strong close. Did a full video on strong close, really powerful in my opinion and best used in combination with near flex and uh, near close flex. Uh and my audible instead of inside post, which is kind of a crappy play, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna put a wide receiver out there. Why? Because that's the best play in the game. Uh, in the formation. No doubt about it. Then we're going to go down all the way to near close flex and we're gonna set our audibles. Spacing, uh, spacing sucks. We're gonna put smash there. Flanker drive is fine. Peer read special, or whatever it's called. Peer read special, that's how, I call, that's how it's called. It just sounded like a weird name to me. My audibles are going to be smash, full back dive, flanker drive, and Texas. Now we're gonna start by asking you to subscribe. Now, we're gonna really start. That was just a joke. No, we're not, we're not gonna start with the plays yet. We wanna talk about personnel. We want to make sure that we have two running backs out on the field. So I'm gonna put James White there just because he's a good receiving back. And we wanna make sure that we have a tight end with a route ability. We want to have tight end apprentice out on the field because we're gonna need him to make some and uh, make some adjustments uh, work. Um, if you have a hard run master quarterback such as the Tom Brady or maybe a Philip Rivers, even though Tom Brady, in my opinion, is better, use them. They're really good because then what what uh, hard run master allows you to do is you can put any or any hard route that a wide receiver would usually would usually need a chemistry for you can put them on any receiver stock the receiver doesn't need it, even need that ability crazy good and we're gonna start by the one play touchdown out of this formation against a cover three against cover two cover two is really difficult to beat and cover four is also very tough to beat none of so you can't do it out of this formation i've done videos on how to beat cover four and uh before Unfortunately, there are one, no one play bombs out of near close flex against cover four. Now, we're gonna select post drag him to come out in cover three on three out of the three for our formation because the beauty of this formation is it is a run heavy formation, it is good to run the ball out of this, it's really smart. So, what that forces your opponent to do, it forces them to come out in a run for, uh, in run defense, and you can then just throw a cover three reader just like that. I would block both running backs if I were you. And then put Watson on the corner out. That's gonna suck down the uh, deep zone. And then with with Sanu, you can do whatever you want. You can put him on a drag. You can put him on a hitch. I just wouldn't streak him because that kind of carries the user over to the post. It makes one play touchdown a bit easily, a bit more easy, a bit easier to guard. My bad. Because the user is gonna drift down with the streak, and then he's gonna notice, oh, there's a post there. Oh, there's a corner out. Maybe I'm gonna use a, the one play touchdown. You don't want that to happen. So what you do is you put him on a hitch. That's what I would do. Drag is also fine. That, that probably doesn't matter. Now we're going to talk about protection because the beautiful thing about this formation is you have two running backs in the backfield. Just like split close. It is really easy to roll out. If you you need to identify which side of the ball, uh, which side of the line you want to roll out to. In this case, you want to roll out to the, is it the left? You want to roll out to that side. My bad. So, what we then do is we do the chop block. Even in this case, we're not going to get the chop, chop block because the outside linebacker on the tight end side is not the one that's blitzing. In case they do send him, we have the chop block and we can get our outside of the pocket really easily. You know Tom Brady is as slow as a turtle. And Julian Edman isn't, fa isn't much quicker. You see that that is a really easy one play touchdown against cover three. Now, against cover two, you won't have as much luck just because the mid reads they drift down so far back now uh, or they drift, drift back so far you're not gonna get a one play touchdown against cover two let's be honest 
not at least with the post there is another good play that i'm gonna come to next which is smash smash looks like that and i'm gonna audible to a cover two on the defensive side of the ball there you see the cover two and now what we're trying what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get that corn rod open that corn rod is pretty good just stuck just by itself it's a nice corn rod i'm gonna run it try to get the protection he got bumped there which made it really 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 covered I will try to get outside of the pocket there. Flip it, please. Thank you. And what I would usually do to what I would usually do to get to get the corner out open is I would outrun Edelman, and then backside you can do whatever you want. Personally, I once again like to block both running backs in case that I get blitz. Then I'm going to going to do the chop block, just like that. And on the back side with the tight end, I do, can do whatever I want. I can put him on the trail. Remember, even if you don't have, have Hot Rod Master out there, you're going to have a tight end apprentice out there. That's one thing that I would recommend you, to, you guys to invest in. It even makes the West uh, the bunch of offense better. And you pl you flat out need it for near close flex. That's just my opinion. If you don't have the coins to do that, this team is not, is not going to work for you as well. It still can, might work, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. Anyways, if I now try to roll out, can you please chop blocking gun? I'm going to spy everybody because Shets just by themselves are crazy in practice mode. And Tom Brady is the slowest player on the planet, so he's not going to get out of the pocket by himself. A trail route on, uh, on the Titan will work. Also, you could do something like a post. A corner route, I wouldn't really recommend a corner route because you're trying to roll out to the side of the two wide receivers. So the corner route won't get open at all. I'm going to st stick with the trail. And now you will see that this corner route gets wide open. Just, like, just right there. It's pretty similar to the corner strike corner route if you guys have been running bunch. Did a video on it, go check it out. If you guys have been running bunch, this is a similar corner route. It's, it's not quite as good because the cut is not as fast. It's still really good though. And if you need to beat cover two, that's the way to do it. Now, in case that the corner out is uh, covered, you would then read whether the trail out, the trail route or post route is open. But that's just a pretty standard read. If the corner route is not there, then obviously, obviously look to the other routes on the field. But once again, we're not gonna get out outside of the bucket there, but are we gonna get the time? We are sort of. You see, you need, really need to roll out to the side of the corner out because the throw is going to get really long otherwise and it's tough to throw that now. Let's talk about something other. Let's talk about running the ball. I don't usually run the ball, but you need to run the ball out of this. It's just too good. If you have a left-handed quarterback like Michael Vick, I personally use Michael Vick in, in Man Ultimate Team, then you obviously want to run the ball to the left side. Not obviously. A lot of people don't know. If your quarterback is left-handed and he hands off turning to the left, the yeah, handoff is going to be much quicker. Tom Brady is right-handed, so we want the run handoff to the right. So if you do that, you see now that we can get a lot of yards. Eric Armstead or whatever his name is, he shed it right there. If he does, if he doesn't shed, then we're going for a lot of yards. Once again, I'm gonna try to. It's, it's just so random. People, if I tell you that this run has been popping for me online, it's been popping. Another thing that you can do to make that run even better is take over, uh, is take a wide receiver and s motion snap him so that you get another person blocking and everybody's getting shed. Even though these runs, even though everybody's shedding right as soon as the ball snaps, we still get three yards. Online, it's going to be much more. And then feeding off of that, you have Texas. Mm, gorgeous play. What is so good about this play? You have a, you have the ankle route from the from the running back, and you have corner route and a post route. We're actually gonna use neither of the corner routes or post route. We're just gonna use the ankle route because, what well, is the best route on the play? We want to put Sunu on the corner route. We're gonna need a wide receiver with slot apprentice or wide receiver apprentice if you have somebody like Tory Holt at 99 overall. Then we're gonna streak Edelman. We're gonna send the tight end on a delay fade. And this is basically a read where we're either gonna quick throw, quick throw, uh, quick throw the wheel route. I'm speaking a lot. 
hold on the halfback angle route we're either gonna quick throw that or we're gonna get the time to roll outside of the pocket and then we're gonna throw this corner out above every type of flat that has to be used if it's not used it's gonna be there now let's talk about something that i really like to do once again out of the texas play i like to put snoo on the corner out, streak edelman and now this is where things get interesting i, I do the same blocking adjustments Oops, just like that. And you will see now that I will have a one play touchdown. I mean, it's not going to be a one play touchdown because Edelman is, is slow and Tom Brady can't throw the ball. But if you have somebody like a Michael Vick with 99 throw power, he's going to get it to Edelman. And how do you protect against a one play touchdown? For you guys that don't know, is you click on to the outside third cornerback Press X or A if you're on Xbox and put the right stick to the right. That's then going to put him into a deep half. So if I now try to do the same thing that I did on the previous play, you will see that it is not going to work. Or rather the cornerback on the outside is going to stick all the way back with the streak. Did you guys see that? Now that, that really f makes it tough for my opponent because if the cornerback is drifting all the way back there, you can now throw the corner out really easily. You don't you usually don't even have to roll out that way. So I'm gonna do that. Boom. Once again, gonna click on to him. Put him in a deep half. You can also do this by pressing triangle twice. Then circle for the cornerback. Right stick to the right, just for you guys that want that want to learn quick adjustments. And now if we snap the ball, we'll get the protection down. And you will see that this corner is just wide open. Absolutely wide open. Nothing's gonna cover it and don't forget you can still throw this angle route That's a really tough route to use it somehow some way When I try to use it online, I always get a bad animation Just so, just know that this is really good and then you can obviously if they shut all of these things down um, And you still can run the ball and you still can go to strong close and one thing that I actually didn't mention sorry out of flanker drive, no, that's not. Um, am I still in this play? Okay, perfect. If you want to make this play even better, you can wheel route the R1 running back, put Sanu on a flat route, then motion him out. That gives you another read. So, for example, if you notice that your opponent is using all the way back there to defend against the cover three beater, you can then still hit the wheel route. That's gonna get open against pretty much anything. Pretty much anything, it's, nothing's gonna cover him. This is so good about this rock combo because you have the threat of the one play touchdown. And then if you do the setup, I per, I would always re uh, re wheel. <laughs> it's tough for an Austrian. Yeah, again, <clears throat> I would always re wheel the running back because the initial route that he's on is not very good. It's not good. Even though it looks good, it's not good. So we'll see. That if I throw that right there, that's a nice little pocket. The if that's not used, it's gonna get open every time. So just so you know, and then of course, I would recommend you to do is in obvious passing situations, go to strong close, and always, always, always test out this Sinu. This route combo right here, it might be the best in the game. Out of a running set, this might be the best route combo in the game. Well. Let me, let me take a, a few steps back. Top three route combos out of heavy running formations in the game. You will see that this post route from the tight end gets underneath or gets in a nice soft spot against any coverage. It's going to get open every time. It's also man beating. So that's a really tough route to defend. Now, I'm very sorry because I made one mistake. I forgot to tell you, I forgot to tell you about one of the best route combos there is. Out of this play, uh, Texas. I... No hot routes, don't re-block your running back white, don't do anything. Just send him out right there and you see that he's, he's on a hitch. Now you once again, you put Watson on a post, you put Sanu on a post, you put Edelman on a hitch, you block the running back, and it's basically a custom play. Both of these posts are gonna get open, I promise you that. If I now double team and do the blocking again, you will see that I can roll outside of the pocket right here. And this Watson is absolutely open. 
Once again, there's no Sony in the game that's going to cover that. I promise you guys, nothing's going to cover it. Just make sure that you don't uh, block the running back or anything before sending him out. Because then it's not going to work. He's not going to be on the hitch and it's not going to get this open. But man, it's just a beautiful route combo. Because this X route, guess what? It's also getting open. This is so tough to defend. If your opponent doesn't blitz you, this is pretty much unguardable in my opinion. I would not know any defense that could defend this while also defending the run. Just putting it out there, your opponent is going to have to guess. And if he guesses right, good for him. Maybe he'll throw the ball away and lose it down. But if he guesses wrong, you have a chance at a touchdown. Not, not necessarily on the run play, but if he runs a man coverage run defense with two posts going to opposite sides of the field, He's crushed. That's a touchdown. I don't care what anybody says. In my opinion, I get a touchdown on that play. Period. Now, there obviously are more things to that. The most important thing, however, is the protection and make sure that you use both of your running backs in order to do a chop block so that you can then e get outside of the pocket easier. Playmaker him up and slow as Tom Brady is going to scramble for two yards. Grand for Brady. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. It went for 15 minutes. And uh, honestly, there's still a lot of things to cover. I'm not going to cover them because then the video is going to be too long. And I haven't. And there's a lot of adjusting that goes on during plays. You have to really get comfortable. The main thing is the pass protection and using posts and corner routes and one play touchdowns while having the third of the run. Co that combined with the gun bunch offense, I don't know how, how I would ever get stopped. If I didn't make bad reads. If you don't make bad reads. This game. You're, get, you're gonna win, win every game. Every game. If you never miss a read. There are always gonna be open people. Don't miss a read. And you win games. Obviously. That was really dumb. Thank you for sticking all the way through the video. It's only been. It's already. It's not it's only. It's already been 17 minutes. If you stuck until now. Maybe your content is something. My content is something that you're gonna be interested in. So if you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video. I hope you have fun with this scheme. I'm going to have fun, a lot of fun with it. Actually, this weekend, go check out my Twitch link. is in the description. I'm streaming Weekend League. Having fun. Yeah. See you in the next video. Peace. Actually, let's make it cool.